The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfort. A Danish priest used to love to tell how the very same improvement that the Spanish bishop noticed in his diocese had occurred in his own parish. He always told his story with great rejoicing of soul because he gave such glory to Almighty God. He said, I had preached as well as compelling as I could, touching on many aspects of her holy faith and using every argument I could possibly think of to get the people to amend their way of life. But in spite of all my efforts, they went unconcerned, unconcernedly about their way as before. And it was then that I decided to preach the Holy Rosary. I told my congregation how precious it is. I told my congregation how precious it is, and I taught them how to say it. I kept on preaching the Holy Rosary, and the devotion took root in the parish. Six months later, I was overjoyed to see that, that the people had already changed for the better. How true it is that this God-given prayer was divine has divine power, the power to touch our hearts and to fill them with horror of sin and the love of virtue. One day, Our Lady said to Blessed Alan, just as Almighty God chose the angelic salutation to bring about the incarnation of his word and the redemption of mankind, in the same way, those who want to bring about more mortal, moral, not mortal, but moral, reforms and who want people reborn in Jesus Christ must honor me and greet me with the same salutation. I have the channel by which God come to men. And so next to my son, Jesus Christ, it is through me that men must obtain grace and virtue. I who write this have learned from my own experience that the rosary has the power to convert even the most hardened hearts. I have known people who have gone to missions and who have heard sermons on the most terrifying subjects without being in the least moved. And yet after they had, on my advice, started to say the rosary every day, they eventually became converted and saved themselves completely to God. When I have gone back again to visit parish, parishes where I have given missions, I have seen a tremendous difference in them. In those parishes where people had given up the rosary, they had generally fallen back into their sinful ways again, whereas in places where the rosary was said faithfully, I found that people were persevering in the grace of God and were advancing each day in virtue. So friends, friends, I cannot emphasize the power of the rosary. As I was walking down this steps I was imagining how how the rosary every time we pray a rosary we're one step closer to heaven and as I was seeing all these beautiful roses because I basic, basically saw every color every color of rose that there is and I was just seeing and enjoying the beautiful roses. But one day in heaven, we are going to enjoy the roses that we're praying as we do those salutations, as we pray our Hail Marys. And those, they see these roses, they die, but our Hail Marys will never die. And they will be as beautiful as these roses as they are now. 
in through eternity. So continue to pray. Continue. Continue to pray. Continue to pray your rosary for peace in the world, for teenagers, for uh, newlyweds, for people that have been married for a long time, for husbands that do not want to pray the rosary, for uh, family members, for for your enemies, for people that do not like you because, you know, they they just don't like you for some reason. So pray for them so that the Lord can touch their lives through your prayers. May the Lord bless you. Please continue to pray for me as I continue to offer up all my works, joys, and everything for the salvations of your souls and the souls of those who you love so you pray for my people and i pray for all of your people and guess what we're all we all belong to the same god and to the same mother our heavenly mother our mama mary Many blessings to you and to your beautiful families. And may the Lord keep you safe always under the mantle of Mama Mary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And also, if you can, wear your rosary.